Hi everyone, I'm Hadas. Thank you for coming back to another video on my channel. Today I have a big, huge, eclectic homeware slash lifestyle haul. Candles and stationery and cool home stuff. I was in Berlin, I ordered things online, I shopped here in my country in Israel and I have a lot of stuff um, and yeah let's get started let's start with candles the first candle I got is this beautiful thing it's a candle by monkey uh, the brand monkey I ordered it from the website ASOS which is my favorite website for ordering fashion but they also have some lifestyle stuff and I admit there was no description on this candle I just got it because I thought it was really really pretty and it is really pretty just to put in the room and look good um, it smells very fruity um, it kind of reminds me of the Tiki Mango Mai Tai candle by Bath & Body Works it's kind of candyish, fruity scent very sugary very like candy I, I really really like it but again this is basically just to look good in my room the other candles I got, I got from my trip to Berlin. I came back from Berlin in Germany uh, like uh, a, a week or two weeks ago. And the first candle I got is this uh, from H&M Home. It's called Lavish Cotton. And again, I thought it was really beautiful and that's why I got it. <laughs> you know, when sometimes when you shop, you just buy things because you want to buy and not because it's like the best thing you can find so this is the case with this one it does smell very kind of cottony fresh uh, really really nice I'm pretty sure it's gonna be very very weak and I'm sure it's not gonna throw very well but it is a beautiful candle again to have in my room and look good basically next candle I got was from Urban Outfitters it's this one it's from Patty Wax tobacco vanilla I was curious about this company for quite some time and digging around for uh, reviews some of the reviews were awful some of the reviews were great um, my expectations are not too high but I do want to experiment with other brands so I, I took a chance and got it I really like the scent uh, it's it is a, a manly vanilla scent tobacco vanilla very very simple to the point I also think it looks really really cool again this played a part in my decision to purchase I have to admit um, but yeah it's nice I don't have anything like this uh, in, in my candle collection and I think it's an opportunity to broaden my horizons so fingers crossed it's gonna be good my next stop in the, the shopping candle shopping adventure was TK Maxx which is basically the European version of TJ Maxx uh, which uh, American folks you have it oh my god this store is magical Magical. I mean, everything you can possibly want is in this magnificent store. I really fell in love, even though there's a lot of junk and you have to dig through a lot of junk to find the good stuff. But in the candle department, I came across this thing. Um, it could be a risk. Uh, it's by Everyday Lux, which is a brand I never heard of. Obviously, it looks exactly like Bath & Body Works. And this is in the scent Apple Cider which is I really really like these types of fragrances like the baked apple uh, slightly spiced with cinnamon stuff like that it doesn't really smell like cider there's no description on it by the way it doesn't really smell like cider it smelled more like a pie filling like the baked apples and maybe a little bit of clove and cinnamon of course it's not too spicy at all uh, it's more sweet and you know the baked apple fragrance I don't know uh, it, it has something a little bit synthetic about it a little bit but again I don't really mind I really wanted to try it out try this new brand out and I was just really excited to find this fall scent so hopefully again fingers crossed it's a good one there were a few Yankee candles in the TK Maxx haul of candles um, but I wasn't really excited about any of them they were all like white flowers wedding days you know scent old school scents that I smelled before and I'm not really excited about nothing special but then 
then my eyes landed on this magnificent, beautiful thing. I smelled it before. There are a few places in Israel where you can find Yankee candles, and I smelled this one, but the Yankee candles in here are so, so, so expensive. So I never got it, but when I saw it, I knew this is my chance. I was blessed to find it. And yeah, it's the scent, it's olive and thyme. It's a beautiful scent. Oh God, how can I, it smells a little bit like tea, a little bit kind of lemony fresh, not, not hardcore lemon, but there's like a hint of tartness in it, but it's also fresh and also sweet. It's so, so, so good. It's really hard to, I mean, it's in the food and spice category. It's so hard to explain, but it's so unique and I'm so excited about it. I, I really hope it's gonna be strong because I adore this scent. It's great. Okay, moving on to homeware and home decor stuff that I got. I recently moved to a new apartment, so I was really feeling the urge to buy, to buy a lot of the core stuff. So the first thing that I got is this beautiful, incredible, magnificent golden stag head, which is Oh, it makes me so happy to have it. I got it here in Israel, so I can't tell you where you can find something similar in your country. I'm pretty sure the Target has stuff uh, in, in that style. I love it. It's not too big and huge, as you can see. It's just a beautiful piece to hang on the wall. It's great. I love it. For some reason, I got the urge to buy a lot of LED lighting um, features. And the first one I got is this beautiful thing. Pardon my French here. Uh, it's a, a light up kind of sign. It comes with a marker, an uh, erasable marker, that you can write stuff. So obviously I wrote my motto in this life. And I just added the, the fake lashes because I thought it looked cool. It doesn't have batteries right now, so I can't light it. But it's just so nice and you can kind of change the message that you write on it. I really like it. It's really cute. So I just came back from Berlin a few weeks ago and I shopped at Primark there. Now if you're European you know what Primark is all about. It's a huge store with a lot of like clothing departments, shoes, accessories and they also have a home department. Now the Primark where I was in Berlin was just so incredibly crowded so I couldn't handle shopping for any clothes or fashion there but I did browse the home department and again I found Found some LED lights that I really really liked so the first thing that I got is this marvelous thing this is me me in a lamp basically pineapple in rose gold thank you yeah I saw it I knew they will have it because uh, I have a friend that has um, the exact same lamp and I wanted it and now I have one too but another dream that came true for me in the beautiful Primark Isle was this a hashtag LED light lamp I mean I wanted this I I dreamed about something like this I looked for it couldn't find it anywhere until this beautiful thing called out to me in Primark so I got it and I love it so cute it's gonna be in the background of my future videos for sure now in the line to the cashier to pay in Primark, of course, so this is what uh, sometimes is called as the Isle of Doom because there's a lot of very tempting, silly things kind of stalking you there and then when you see them, you have to add them to your cart. So this is what happened to me and I found this. It's a hot water bottle which is placed inside the fluffiest little bunny I've ever felt in my life and yeah uh, I want to cuddle a fluffy bunny at night when winter comes so now I can <laughs> and the final thing that I got at Primark is very useful but fabulous nonetheless is this one it's uh, clothes hangers but they're rose gold clothes hangers which makes them extra unique and awesome and special and there is no way I could leave without them so I don't really need clothes hangers to be honest but uh, I kind of did the rose gold like I mentioned so can you blame me 
I also stopped by H&M Home and I didn't get a lot but I did get this beautiful magnificent makeup or toiletry bag it's clear plastic with all the best things the world has to offer all over it all the things that I like you know dinosaurs pizzas lattes donuts yeah and there's also eyebrows um, painted on it and underneath it says brow game strong how can I say no to this? I, I can't, and I didn't. And the last thing I got at H&M Home, I found it in the kids department, and even though it's labeled for kids, I'm a kid at heart, I will always be one, and I had to get these towels with a chihuahua on them. I don't think I need to explain any further. It's towels, they're pink with a chihuahua. I mean, come on. I got this beautiful um, holographic cup, mug, coffee, hot tea, hot beverages kind of cup at uh, Urban Outfitters. It's holographic. I'm hypnotized by it. It's beautiful and I'm in love. Yeah. European, if you're watching this, you're gonna feel me. Tiger, the store, Tiger, also known as Flying Tiger. Oh my God. Best place ever. Best place. This store has everything cute in it and I basically kind of controlled my urges and decided not to go too crazy because I was worried I couldn't bring everything intact back to Israel in my suitcase. So I only got plates, two of them. They're not the same, one with eyes and one with a mouth. This is so adorable, so adorable. I, this is how I want to eat my meals. I want plates that stare at me and plates that smile very creepily at me. I love them. When I moved to my new apartment, I decided for some reason to get rid of all the bowls I had, the, the little cereal bowls. I, I got caught up in the whole uh, Mary Kondo method and I said, I don't love these bowls and I got rid of them. Uh, which gave me a great excuse to buy new cereal bowls, which I adore. They are shaped like a pineapple. I got two in white, I got two in gold because hello gold pineapple is life and also I got two in like a tur turquoise color like this. They're magnificent um, and it's the best feeling in the world to eat in my cereal out of this. So good. By the way, I got these pineapple bowls uh, in a local store here in Israel, so sorry I can't link it to you guys or anything like that. And in the same store, I also found this gold cutlery. Gold cutlery. This is how fancy people eat. Obviously, it's not real gold, right? But I wanted to feel fancy. I deserve to feel fancy, like Kate Middleton fancy. So. Now I am, sort of. And even though I just got a beautiful set of cutlery, I, it was like a set for six people with the gold cutlery thing, I think the passion for cool cutlery in my heart didn't die because when I was in Berlin, I uh, went into Zara home and I found this holographic duochrome cutlery. Yeah. Um, well, this time I didn't buy a whole set. I just got these three. Uh, I, I, I even contained myself and didn't get the, spoon, the teaspoon. I don't know why. I just didn't. But this is so beautiful. I mean, I can stare at it for days. I, I, I had to have it. I had to have it. I didn't need it, but I had to have it. And shortly after I discovered these magnificent things, I discovered this baby tray, which is also matching. It's holographic, duochrome, triple chrome, magnificent, super awesome little tray. I think it's for keys and stuff. I got it at uh, Cadeve, which is like a super luxurious, kind of like Bergdorf Goodman type of department store in Berlin. Uh, it's by the brand Hey. It's like a Swedish brand, I think, of like lifestyle items. Yeah, I love it. It's so beautiful. I'm so happy to have this stuff. Completely useless, but <laughs> again, blessed to have them. 
And the final homeware kind of item that I got in Berlin was this ridiculous silly little thing. It's a pug's head and it's also a little planter for a tiny little cacti or a succulent or something like that. The most ridiculous thing I've ever saw in my life. But uh, it's just so cute and I have a special place in my heart for tiny dogs as, as the chihuahua towels must have hinted. Uh, and my favorite kind of breed of dog is a pug. So I really wanted to have it. And once I plant a little cacti in it, it's gonna look so cute. I love it. The last shopping I have to show you guys, uh, everything is from Berlin, it's kind of office and stationary stuff. The first thing I got is this box, did I mention I have a dog thing? Well here's another proof of that. You have beautiful dogs illustration and they're wearing different types of accessories in gold. Magnificent. And inside you have this great message here. Think positive. Next up I got this beautiful notebook, pink marble notebook, which is magnificent. It was from Urban Outfitters. This is from a collection uh, that they did in a collaboration with Oh Dear, which is a really nice brand. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful, it's marble, it's pink, and I adore it. All of my next stationery stuff are from the incredible kind of stationery department at TK Maxx. The first one is this, can you spot a theme? It's marble, it's a beautiful folder. See? Uh, I'm probably never going to use it to be honest, I'm just going to take pictures, pretty pictures of it for Instagram and stuff. Um, I love it. It's beautiful and I couldn't I couldn't just leave it there at store. It had to come home with me and it did. I also got these two two notebooks also at TK Maxx, also gorgeous, also useless but beautiful nonetheless. I adore them. And finally at Monkey I got a set of golden pens because I need something to write with theoretically on all my beautiful new notebooks. So there they are. So that was my magnificent haul. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up uh, and subscribe to my channel. Press the red subscribe button that way you will never miss another video from me again. Uh, and that's it. Follow me on my Instagram. I'll link it somewhere around here and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!